Hey friends, it's me, Lomi Sasha, and I'm here with Loot Crate, and I'm so excited. It's so amazing. It's been like how many months I got this. It's like my fourth one, I believe, that my brother bought. So yeah, so this is for November 2016, and I'm going to open it with you guys. I have no clues in it. I already blocked out my address. I don't have my exo knife, so I have scissors. <laughs> it almost fell. Oh my gosh. Okay, um... So yeah, so let's see what's inside. I don't know if this is the right way. I think I think I should hold it this way. It's <laughs> so cool. It's Doctor Strange. Um, we have a Doctor Strange pop figurine. That's really cool. Oh my god. Okay, so. Right away, you see like all this crazy stuff, which is pretty cool. I don't know why I'm so close. Let me move over here. Oh, so yes, we have Dr. Strange, which I think is absolutely adorable. I like Hubert Cumberbatch. Hubert Cumberbatch is a good actor. I haven't seen the movie. I want to see it with my brother, but I don't know. Time will tell. So I'm really excited. It looks really cool. So yeah, that's what it looks like. We have a shirt which sadly will not fit me because my brother is a different size from me, so it'll fit my one, two of my brothers. And it's from Fantastic Beasts. So that's a movie where it has Victoria Eyes. Yeah, Victoria Eyes from um, Penny Dreffel, which I like her, even though she's kind of crazy. Pretty cool shirt. Yeah, I'm 100% sure it's not in my size yet, so, so I can't wear it. <laughs> it's a Game of Thrones like journal. I'm keeping this. Holy crap. Because me and my brothers divvy up everything. But it said this night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> Which is a classic quote. Oh my god. That is so cool in this Game of Thrones. Oh my god. I honestly can't, I can't wait. This is obviously supposed to be Melisandre, obviously, because Melisandre, this whole thing I guess is about like, I don't want to say alchemy, but something around there, like, you know, something strange. And this is obviously Melisandre, who is a red witch. Um, it even has her necklace, and even the part of her necklace which lights up, like, most of, when she was taking it off, it lit up in like season, what was that? Season 5? Season 6? I think it was season 5 when she got like really depressed after John. I'm not gonna say what happened. <laughs> but after what happened with John... Sorry, my leg got messed up. After what happened with John, she got really depressed and her... When she was taking off her necklace, it lit up, I mean. That part lit up. And then she's old. Because we all seen that Melisandre. True form body. I'm not going to show that because I'll get restricted <laughs> and I'll get in trouble. Oh my gosh, Elder Scrolls! That's so cool! Oh my gosh, it's a little pin. It's Elder Scrolls. It's like dragons eating. It's like an Ouroboros or Ourobora. I think I call it Ouroboros, which is a snake eating its own tail, which is like from the show Millennium, which is actually a group of <laughs> It's a fantastic show that I absolutely love. So it's an Ourobora of like dragons eating themselves, but it's like three dragons. So. Oh my gosh. Big Trouble in Little China is like legit my favorite movie. I watched that movie so many times when I was growing up. So it's Big Trouble in Little China and Escape from New York. Which my brother loves, Escape from LA, Escape from New York. So that's the main character from Big Trouble in Little China, and then that's Snake Plissken. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I. Oh my god. I love. I love Big Trouble in Little China so much. I watched the movie legit like 20 times when I was growing up. And I love that movie to this very day. Ah, it was a magical one. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's something to do with like alchemy or something like that. So it's magical. 
Okay, so this actually becomes like an alchemy table. So I'm going to construct that, but I just want to go through everything just so you guys know what's in here. Okay, okay. So we do have a Doctor Strange action figure, and there's only one of him. Um, I know with the Harley Quinn one that I got, um, there were two different sets. There was like a Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad where she, you know, there's a Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad where, you know, she's a little bit more skimpy and all that. And then there's a like legit actual Harley Quinn. I got the actual Harley Quinn. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. And then here's about the shirt. I haven't seen the movie. Vanessa Ives, I do like her from Penny Dreadful. I mean, I'm on season one still, I'm like at the very end of it. But Vanessa is like a very hard to like character, but at the same time she can't help her convictions, I guess you could call them convictions if you will say that. She can't exactly help it, so I do like her, but I mean, she's not the best. <laughs> okay, so the dark is, uh, the dark is full, what is it? The night is full and dark of terrors. But it talks about like father represents justice, mother represents love and compassion, which is obvious because uh, this is kind of talking about from what I could tell, this is kind of talking about I would say Ned Stark because he was definitely about justice. He didn't even want to lie in the first season. He didn't want to lie, which pretty much end up to Edder Starks, which is his actual name, end up to his death. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely talking about like the different parents because obviously a father, you know, represents justice. Ned Stark, or Edder Stark, represents justice. You know, he didn't want to lie at all. And then the mother, which is Catelyn Stark, she represented uh, love and compassion, which is true. She loved all her kids. Um, in season one, of course, you know, John, she was like, mm, you're not my kid, you're a bastard child. <laughs> bastard child. But, you know, other than that, she still did love him in her own way. So yeah, it just goes through that, so. That's pretty cool. The many face God, which I think is actually really cool. I mean, I know they didn't exactly follow the book because I'm not going to spoil anything, but you know, other one, I don't want to say it. Other people can work into animals and pretty much when Arya, I don't want to say it. Pretty much other people can work into animals and a lot of them did and a lot of them did a lot of killings. So yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Um, the drowned god is with the young Greyjoy's family. They drown people and then like they die kind of and they come back to life like by getting air. And then, you know, they're, if they survive that then they become the newest like king or queen. Which of course they don't have a queen because <laughs> in their society it's a man-based society. So, yeah. And then it just goes through all the other ones. Like the god of light. All that stuff. And oh, it's a crossword. That's so cool. <laughs> Hero of Escape from New York, which is obviously Snake Plissken. I know that one. So number one will be across the Snake Plissken. Because guess what? Actually, you know what? Escape from LA and Escape from New York and Big Trouble most Most is. <laughs> and then this is the Elder Scrolls Online. There's an Imperial uh, Edition upgrade code. Yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. I might give that to my brother. I think I will be nice. I just want the pin, because I like that pin. Um, I do like Elder Scrolls. Oh wait, the different dragons are breathing out different things. That's so cool. That's pretty cool. They're breathing out different things. So like the one over here is breathing out fire, and then the other ones are breathing out like different things. Which is pretty cool. That's cool. Um. But yeah, I'm most likely going to give my, that code to my brother. I don't have the newest Elder Scrolls remastered. I have Elder Scrolls. Because, you know, I like Elder Scrolls. But I don't... I think I'll give it to my brother. I'll be nice. <laughs> oh, so adorable. Smoke. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. We love you. Oh, thank you, Luke. I love you, too. <laughs> So yeah, so pretty much I will, I mean, I have everything, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to open some of these now. That was a nice big intermax, I thought. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, well look at this piece of paper. This is a nice piece of paper. 
And then we have Big Trouble in Little China meets Escape from New York. Oh, it's a comic. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. Okay. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna read it right now. Let me see if they have anything from Escape from New York. Oh! They made they made up. That's so cool. Big trouble in little time. Like no lie, you guys have no clue. Okay. So I'm actually gonna open up this. The Nart. The Nart. Oh my gosh. The Knights. Oh, I found an opening. I can't open it. <laughs> I just think it get in. Okay. So I hope you guys can hear my chair. My chair's like really old. <laughs> so of course we have Melisandre, young Melisandre, and then we have old Melisandre. And I'm extremely excited. <gasps> oh, I thought, oh my gosh. I thought it was like a book. I was like, oh my god. But it says Melisandre. The Red Priest of Isos. But yeah, it's just like a little short. Um, I guess it's like... Yeah, it, if you're not caught up in the show, I'm not going to say because it's, you know, it spoils it quite a bit. But yeah, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is what it looks like on the front. Very gorgeous in the very beginning. Has a little excerpt, excerpt, whatever you call it, from Melisandre. And she's talking and then she basically talks about someone's death, which I'm not going to talk about. And yeah, you know, you can put the date, you can put whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, what the weather was, date, and all that crap. All that good schnitz. Which I think is really nice. That's really amazing. I love it. It's so gorgeous. And then we have the... Elder Scroll Loot Crate pin. And then we have this shirt. Okay. And then we have Doctor Strange, who's also, also cute. He become a bitch. Also cute. <laughs> I don't find him cute, but you know. Okay. So I'm going to put this together. So to put this together, they say to, of course, open it and then flip it like completely take out all these compartments oh my gosh, I'm like so they want you to have it play it out like this and basically you just put it inside out oh <laughs> that's nice all you know oh, I'm so smart oh my god oh. I want to go in. that honestly gave me goosebumps oh my gosh it's like the sound of like cardboard for some reason it's like oh so creepy rubbing it them rubbing together is giving me goosebumps. It's kind of like when styrofoam when you're younger. When styrofoam like rubs together and it gives you like, it hurts your ears but it gives you goosebumps too. It's kind of like that for me right now. But I can't, get, oh my gosh. Once I went in, now I'm just like, okay. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's so cool. It's magical. <laughs> it's so adorable. I feel like playing this one behind my computer. I don't know why. I think it's just so cute. Oh, my camera almost fell. Oh, okay. I feel like putting this, honestly, I feel like putting this behind my computer where I can see it because I think yeah, it's like legit really cute. All right, now it's going there. <laughs> Alright, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys do like, please like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, please follow me on other bits of social media. Tweet at me. Tell me what you guys want me to do. Whatever.
whatever oh my gosh <laughs> whatever you guys like want you know if you guys want me to play a game or something you let me know all right thanks guys